It's time to do a quick and dirty service on the dirty F-250. I'm going to jack it up, take the wheels off, check the brakes, grease everything in the front end. I've got some kind of a shimmy. I can't figure out what it is. It's a tire bearing something. I'm going to get it up in there and check it out. I took this thing on a pretty good trip the other day, a county over to took the John Deere over to do a swimming pool pad and of course the trailer had a blowout and I didn't have a spare or even any tools with me so I had to leave the trailer come home get the spare tire get the impact wrench and the jack and drive all the way back to the one county over I made a couple hundred bucks that day and spent about four so some days you win most days you lose Especially with gas prices. <clears throat> I'm going to get this thing jacked up in the air and these wheels off and take a look at it. I might even change the oil. i got some new filters and I think I've got a five or six quarts of oil for this thing. Seven, eight, whatever. I think it takes seven. We'll let to find out. Got the tire off and inspected. It's got plenty of tread. I can't find any knots or anything. I do have it overinflated. It maxes at 65 pounds. I've been filling it to 80 like my trailer tires. It's probably a lot of the vibration. Can't find anything wrong here on these giant rotors. I still got pretty good ways away from the squealer on the uh, pad uh, yeah I've also got another set of brakes to put on it it had a brand new rotor on this side when I got the truck a year or so ago and a brand new caliper it's all new the other side hadn't been changed because they couldn't get the caliper off so I wound up having to redo the other side and I put a new caliper new rotor on the other side I was looking for grease fittings and I've not found a grease fitting yet on this thing on these tie rod ends, on these, uh, I guess, king pins or whatever you call them, ball joints. I haven't found a single grease fitting. They're all sealed somehow. So there's nothing to grease here. We'll see if I can get to the drive shaft in there. Maybe put some, see if there's grease fittings on it. But. I'm going to look for a grease fit in a few more minutes and then I'm going to put the tire back on this side. I'm going to try to get in there to that drive shaft first, see if it's got a fitting on it. And probably move on to the other side. I just realized if you leave it jacked up just a tiny little bit, a five gallon bucket will fit under here. The last time I used that little five quart oil pan and naturally it was a disaster. So. If you leave it jacked up just a little, this thing clears these control arms and slides right on in, a five gallon bucket does. So, I wish I took the lid off of one of my grease buckets and put it in, but I can pour this into one of my storage buckets. Now I've got to get that little oil filter off. Such a tiny oil filter for such a Gymangus engine. This is a 6.2 engine. It takes a little bitty tiny filter. I think they use this little filter on everything. It's a FL820-S. That's what it calls for. Got dual catalytic converters and they're rusty. But otherwise this truck is pretty pretty clean underneath. Still got black paint on about everything. The cab's good. It's 2015. And I'm gonna get that filter off of there and I'm gonna go ahead and put that plug back in and get that filter off there. And and try to get this done underneath here. Okay, the oil filter is on. The plugs back in. 
Now I got to remember to fill it back up with oil when I go back up top. And I did drop the other filter in the bucket and splatter it all over everything. So, so much for staying clean under here. Here's something that bugs me about this motor. When I'm standing on the ground, when I want to take the oil, I can only see this dip tick. And of course it says trans fluid. And it's out here in front. And your oil dipstick is way down in there. So, I was trying to put oil in it one day and I kept pulling this trans dipstick out. It wasn't moving. Luckily, I caught it before I filled the thing completely to the lid with motor oil. But they're both yellow. You can't even see when you're standing on the ground, which when you're checking it out on the road, you have to stand on the ground. I'm standing up on a pedestal right now and I can still barely see it. I'll top it off with 5W20 synthetic blend. I didn't hardly have enough, but I had a little bit of high mileage benzoyl synthetic blend. I hope, hope it don't hurt to mix it. I'm, I'm sure that we all agree we shouldn't, but that's just something I have to do. I've got plenty of fluids. Looks like the antifreeze looks good, brake fluid looks good. I need to top off the windshield wiper. The motor needs a good cleaning. This this thing is a monster. These these modular Ford motors are, are monsters. This thing's got spark plugs on the top and spark plugs on the bottom. I've never seen anything like this. The alternator's in the center. There's just so much you have to do to work on it. But I know the time's coming. I got 171,000 miles on it, so at some point I'm going to be working on this thing. I'm already starting to feel vibrations and shimmies, and I haven't found anything wrong in the front end. There are no grease fittings, which is bizarre. But I did have a bad trailer tire that was wobbling, so maybe that was where all my vibration was coming from. We'll find out. We get this thing topped off with of fuel or oil and run it for a minute and see what happens then. There it is, topped off with dinosaur juice, topped off the windshield washer, antifreeze is good, brake fluid's good, my front brakes are good, I didn't take the backs off and look at them, they're probably due, I plan on doing rotors and all when I do them, and this stupid duty is ready for work again, I have no complaints about running a, running a gas truck diesel is the way to go, but I don't pull every single day. This thing, even pulling, I average 10 miles a gallon towing. And I guess that's probably what you get with diesel towing. But I get uh, 14, 15 miles a gallon when I'm not towing. That's pretty good for this old truck on the highway. And of course it's got them big giant tow mirrors. I passed a Dodge the other day and I thought one of us was going to have to go up into a field. He had his antlers all the way out with nothing on, so it's kind of ridiculous. But I, I guess if it makes him feel good. But I think we've done everything we do on this truck. I just got to get in the cab and reset the oil life. I've inspected all the tires. I am going to go around the tires. I've got a little digital meter and make sure I've got 65 pounds in them. I'm pretty sure I was running more than that. And I haven't been anywhere today, so these things are be about the right air pressure for me to check them. So I get all these set. We'll wrap this up. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little while. Just uh, doing some routine maintenance on the F-250 Stupid Duty. And this is our towing vehicle, our tow rig. And that's how we make our money. That's how we make our living, so we got to keep it at least halfway fresh anyway. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Please subscribe, and thanks for hanging out with us. Stay clean, everybody.